we present an interactive system for quickly cutting out foreground objects from video sequences. For example, from a video like this, we can quickly extract a high-quality alpha matted foreground character. Here, the handheld input video is shaky, and the elephant is similar in color to the gray ground behind it. Nevertheless, we can quickly cut out the elephant. Our system is composed of three main stages, pre-processing, interactive segmentation, and alpha matting. To efficiently extract the foreground objects, we pre-cluster the input video into a hierarchy of regions. We cluster pixels in each frame into small 2D regions using mean shift. We then cluster the 2D regions across multiple frames and form 3D spatio-temporal regions. After loading the video, we can manipulate it as a cube of data. We begin by quickly excluding large portions of the video that contain only background. The skateboarder appears as the S-shaped curve in this top-down view of the cube. To exclude the region to the right of the skateboarder, we draw a curve and extrude it through the volume. Unfortunately, the skateboarder's hand passes through the extruded surface, so we go back and move the top view plane through the cube until we see where the hand passes through the curve and redraw the curve around it and mark the region to the right. We repeat the process to bound the foreground character. In the front view, we see that the skateboarder never passes into these blue regions. On one frame, we mark foreground pixels with red paint and background pixels with blue paint. We can also create a curve slice through the character and paint directly on it. In this way, we mark the skateboarder through both space and time with a single stroke. Clicking Do It runs a min-cut optimization on the pre-computed segmentation hierarchy. Here we see the system running in real time on close to 50 million pixels. This process propagates paint to the mean shift segments, evaluates cost functions, and runs the min-cut optimization. After seeing the initial result, we can iterate the process to refine the result. In this elephant video, large background regions have already been specified. After marking a few foreground and background strokes, we run min cut. The initial segmentation misses a bit of the trunk. We rotate the video cube until the trunk widens out in spacetime and mark the trunk as foreground on multiple frames at once. After running the optimization, more of the trunk appears in the resulting segmentation. Each time we invoke the min cut optimization, the system propagates paint up the hierarchy. A region may contain a single color of paint, may be mixed, or it may contain no paint at all. The hierarchy is then traversed top-down to find the highest level solid-colored nodes. The min-cut graph is built from these highlighted nodes. We introduce a new set of min-cut cost functions, including both global and local data costs and global and local link costs. Here we see the global background costs visualized. White indicates a better match. Here, the local background costs. And finally, the global foreground cost. Link costs to find good places to transition between foreground and background. Here we see the global link cost. And here, the local link cost. The final stage of our system refines the foreground object and evaluates an alpha mat around its boundary. After initial segmentation, the edges of the foreground object may still look somewhat rough. A pixel-level min-cut optimization is run on pixels near the border to further refine the boundary of the segmented object. Alpha matting then extracts the final foreground mat. We extend previous 2D matting work to the 3D video volume, ensuring the mat remains smooth both in space and time. We can now composite the result on a new background. This ballet dancer can dance across the student center. We can also recursively run the system to break the foreground into subregions and stylize these in a cartoon style. Interactive Video Cutout provides a fast method to extract and manipulate video objects. 
we have only begun to discover fun uses for the system.